Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where today that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to solve the Times crossword live now, and I'll talk through my thought processes as I as my thoughts occur to me. So one across exaggerated passion about which to sing sometimes. I have no idea what that's talking about. Sharply defined foreign character marketed incorrectly. Foreign character is almost always going to be a, the name of a Greek letter, I would think, but I'm not seeing that. Images that are missing beginning to cause doubts. Images. Pics. Icons. Not sure. In place of while dancing, doctors knock around quietly. Nope, that's not really right. Filming technique, fancy German one. Um, okay, well, that's going to end in ein for the German word for a ah, or one. So we need a three letter word that means fancy, and it's going to be a filming technique, which is going to be a zoom in I want to say but come back to that Big Brother and Co resistance vital yet hopeless okay well this looks like an anagram again hard to see exactly what the anagram fodder is here maybe R vital and yet so Big Brother and Co needs to be the definition um, Big Brother and Co. Bounty I resolved to accept. Okay, uh, again, that looks like an anagram. Bounty I. Buy into. Right. Last. Let's see if that speeds things up a bit. Ancient Roman wheel mark. Crossed by modern vehicle. Brutus. So a real mark is a rut there. And that's being put into the middle. Uh, or being crossed by a bus, which is a modern vehicle compared to a Roman vehicle, I guess. Uh, our standard, well, I'm immediately thinking the Union Jack here. Of higher education about to drop. Um, uni is higher education. If something is about something, it's on. And then to drop is to jack. Is that, does that feel right? About to drop. Maybe. I'd say jack would be more like to rise up. To hoist something. I think it must be right. Ah, no. Ha, union flag. Take care. So I was so convinced the answer was Union Jack that I ignored the fact that the definition seemed to be the opposite to what I need. If something drops, it flags. So Union Flag rather than Union Jack there. Cardinal featuring in sex change excommunicated. <sighs> must be some type of nuncio. I don't quite... Sure. Let's see if we can get this one. Release body of Manhattan Yank. Body of Manhattan Yank. I think that the answer will mean release. Um, let's see if we can get a couple more of these across answers. Touring Australia leave for Ireland. Can we go so? Go with Oz in the middle of it. Drink up on one's own, welcoming men round. Not sure what wine shops can do for a town. Ah, what wine shops can do? They can sell hock. They can. 
Religious leaders call for peace. That's going to be shh. Give affirmative answer back. Religious leaders. Scolded as things removed from to-do list. I'm really struggling with this. Jump is something that takes pluck with unknown ending. Tutorial ultimately left Susie bursting with enthusiasm. Okay. This looks like an anagram of L left and Susie. Enthusiasm. Something fully by the looks of it. Let's put that in. Zestfully probably. So this could be a Lutz thing which is a type of jump, and that's loot, which is something that takes a pluck with a, without its E ending, but with an unknown, as in a mathematical unknown, typically X, Y, or Z uh, at the end there. Tricky. Uh, poles belonging to the workforce. Workforce. Let's try and use this Y. Drawing stick from a crony for corruption. Drawing stick is a crayon. Um, stick from a crony. Okay, it's just an anagram of a crony, of a crony. This set us quite away with words. It's not easy to understand the clues, even once you've solved them. A consequence of murders, riot. Hmm. Okay. Match winner or miss, there's nothing in it. Match winner. Someone evidently bad mouthing weakness is wrong. Wrong is a disservice. Now, somebody who evidently bad mouthed mouth somebody would be a disser <laughs> in um, in cryptic sense. Somebody who disses somebody, and then a weakness is a vice. So disservice is the answer there. I think. Girl from Central Europe, Polish. Well, Rasheen, I think, is the answer here. Uh, so Central Europe is the central letters of the word Europe. You can see that's R-O there. And then a word for Polish, Sheen, and Rasheen is a girl's name. So again, tricky. Poles belonging to the workforce. Is this staffs or something like that? Note to obtain national insurance looking up. Number, how about integer? Yes, so re is the musical note, as in do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re. To obtain is to get a national insurance, ni. Reverse the whole lot, and we get a word that means a number. So I think this is staffs. See, a pole is a staff, so plural can be staffs. And I think it belonging to the workforce, if, if we were to put an apostrophe here, you would say that's the staff's canteen. Um, so I think that's what it's getting at. Match winner looks like golden boot or something like that, or golden match winner, golden goal. Or miss, there's nothing in it. Well, gal would be a word for a miss, with nothing in it would give us the word goal. And or, O-R, well, that OR is a heraldic word which means golden. Um, I think it's the name of the tincture that's used. So, very tricky clue. 
my goodness, this is not easy. Scolded as things removed from to do list, ticked off. Okay, you tick things off once you've done them. Let's see if you tick somebody off, you also tell them off. Ah, so this is something TV, reality TV. I, I don't really blame myself. It's very hard to look at this collection of letters and see that it ends in a t you know, the abbreviation TV. It's tricky. Okay, so this is Ayatollahs then. Let's try and work out why. Religious leaders, right, call for peace. Shh, that's the SH reversing at the back. Give a firm, give is to a lot. Affirmative is A Y. You might say I in, to say as a, a form of yes. An answer can be abbreviated to A as in Q and A. So all of that needs to be reversed. Again, absolutely brutal. Um, so release, can this be unleash or something like that? Or un body of Manhattan. Is that U the UN? Yank. <sighs> Not sure. Oh, maybe we can do I haven't looked at this one. Perform a track using axe. Perform a track. Using axe. Just looks like it's something about sort of guitar reference. Army, ally. For do away with. If you perform, you do. A track is a way, as in a road. And then using with, if you ax something, you do away with it. Wow, so this looks like unhitch then. So UN hitch, is that what that's meant to be getting at? Wow, this is 90 then for the cardinal number. So featuring in sex change, excommunicated. in sex change excommunicated um, wow I'd love to say I've understood that but I haven't at all um, let's come back to that in a while my subconscious think about it what wine shops can do for a town Um, wine shops can do Oops. a consequence of murders riot if you murder someone in an American sense you off them so murders would be offs and then a riot is a hoot and you can get offshoot from that which is a consequence English going out of fashion for American writer of history. English going out of fashion. Um, well, this is going to be E, which is an abbreviation for English, going out of a five-letter word that means fashion. I'm thinking of model, actually, but I'm not familiar with modelists, which is what I want this to to put in, I presume this is an old writer. No, no, no. I'm thinking I'm being dumb. This stylus. There we go. That is a, an old old type pencil, I think. And then we've got style for not for fashion without the E. So I was on the right lines, just uh, not quite getting to the the key bit. Exemplary message secure. Exemplary textbook. So a message is a text in modern SMS speak. So if you secure something, you book it. And if something's exemplary, it's a textbook. So this is Stockport. What a wine shop might do is it might Stockport. There's a surprise seeing hotel amidst castles. <laughs> if you castle in chess, if you notate that, you would write OO for a kingside castle. So um, 
and that's what this means here and the H can be abbreviation for hotel so Oloroso is a type of drink let's put that in and see if we can justify it um, so solo so on I think on one's own welcoming men round yeah on I think is O here And solo for one's own welcoming men would be OR for um, other ranks it's one of the many abbreviations for soldiers it's just the uh, one's own I think that's right I just can't quite O is an abbreviation for on something I'm not quite seeing there hmm. anyway uh, let's come back to it if we need to east windows since replaced permitted revealing everything um, sharply defined foreign character marketed incorrectly to be something like Miss Soul at the end of this. Um, sharply defined foreign character. Oh, chiseled. How about that? That would give us a Greek letter followed by celled, which celled would be a. It's the wrong. Uh, if you sell something, the past tense of it is sold. It's not selled. So that's what it means here by marketed incorrectly. It's saying, what's the past tense of the word market in an incorrect sense, in a cryptic sense? So very tricky clue. Um, well done if you solved that first time through. Uh, exaggerated passion about which to sing sometimes. Exaggerated passion about which to see sometimes. A uh, fade in a fancy. A fancy is a fad, so that's a fade in sounds like it's probably some sort of camera technique. Um, exaggerated passion. Oh I did look at that one. Images that are missing beginning to oh I was going to say, oh, it's this icons without the beginning of the word cause, which would be a C. Images. Cine. Oh no. Doubts. Ifs. Doubts are definitely ifs. So what's the rest of this getting at? Gifs. Is this, uh, is this really using GIF? G-I-F, which is sort of a type of internet file for an image. Wow. I've never seen that before in the Times crossword. Um, in place of wild dancing, doctors knock around quietly. In place of wild dancing. Oh, goodness, I should be able to solve that. Can't. East windows since replaced. Permitted. It sounds like licit, doesn't it? Or explicit. Okay. So Windows XP has since been replaced. My goodness, that is a clever clue. <laughs> um, that's, is this fuss pot or something like that? Place of wild dark mosh pit. Wow. <laughs> Doctors are MOs, medical officers. And then to knock is to hit around a P and P can be abbreviation for quietly in a musical sense, pianissimo ok so nearly there um, exaggerated passion about which to sing sometimes why can't I just write this in um, exaggerated campfire. That's something you would sing about sometimes. 
exaggerated passion. Okay, and it would be a camp fire. If something's exaggerated, it's camp. Passion is fire. So there we go. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Let's see if it's correct. It looks like it, it's certainly aimed for a pangram. I'm not sure if there's a J in the grid, but there certainly seems to be a lot of very unusual letters. Yeah, it is correct. Not a terrible time, given that I was talking it through. So to be in the top 10 at this time of day generally means it's a pretty hard puzzle. You can see Jason James there, who's one of the very fastest solvers in the world. He was at 10.43 without explaining every clue. So um, it wasn't quite as awful a solve as I was worrying about. It's just there were a couple I wanted to have another look at. Um, 11. Cardinal featuring in sex change excommunicated. It's some reference to the Roman numeral for, for 90, which would be XC. You can see it's, it's appearing in both the words there. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, someone, uh, please do comment if you can see a good explanation for quite why. I mean, uh, this is the right answer. Um, just to explain, uh, I'm not sure if I was eloquent enough as I was going through, Cardinal, I was thinking of Nuncio originally because I, I remember that's something to do with a papal ambassador or something like that, um, something to do with uh, the Roman Catholic Church I think, so Cardinal was making me think of that, but Cardinal number is something you always have to look out for, if you see the word Cardinal in a clue, uh, so you know any any number is a valid answer here. And that's why when we had the T, I was pretty sure the answer was 90. But beyond the XC references in both the words, can't see anything clever there. Um, another one was Oloroso, wasn't it? I can quite understand the. Ah, okay, no, no, no. Up, right, okay. So up is being used as an, as an instruction to, to reverse in a down clue um, on one's own. You can see that solo going backwards here. Surrounding men, OR, and then this round here is not the instruction to reverse, it's just put a round letter, i.e. put the O at the very end of the clue. So I think that's how that one works. It's all crossing Gozo, which I, I vaguely think that's an island in the med, but I you I could be wrong, it could be in Indonesia or somewhere, it's definitely, yeah, it's not one I, I've ever visited and I'm only very vaguely familiar with it. So, um, again, I think there was plenty of opportunity there for people to solve that more quickly than I did. Um, so, let me know if I was being dumb today um, and uh, really welcome any feedback. If you enjoy the video, please do subscribe to the channel and see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.